One very useful way of understanding inequalities is as describing part of a number line. In order to understand inequalities in this way, we're going to want to be able to graph inequalities on a number line. So let me give you an example and show you how we graph it and why. Let's say we have the inequality x is less than 5. Let's take a minute and think about what that means. That means that x has to represent one of the numbers to the left of 5 on the number line. Let's take a look at a number line and see what I mean by that. Here's 5. And it's pretty clear that these numbers 4, 3, 2, and so on are the numbers that are less than 5. In fact, that's how we define less than, if you'll recall. Less than just means lives to the left on the number line. So how would we graph that? If we're graphing like on a computer and we have all sorts of different colors of pens, we would mark all of the numbers to the left of 5 by just writing over them with a thicker line in a different color. If we're working on paper and we just have the one pencil, we might prefer instead to write our line going just up above the number line. Something like this. Or underneath the number line, but next to it. The other thing that we're going to do is to represent the fact that 5 is not actually included in our graph. To represent that, we'll draw a little hole an empty circle right at 5. So we've marked all the points to the left of 5 and then we've drawn an empty circle to show that 5 is not included. That empty circle we'll sometimes call an open dot. And that's all there is to drawing an inequality on the number line. Let's see one more example. Let's say we have x is greater than or equal to negative 1. If it's less than, that means x is to the left of 5. If it's greater than, that means x is to the right of negative 1. That greater than or equal to means x represents one of the numbers to the right of negative 1 or negative 1 itself. So to the right of negative 1, we're going to mark an arrow going off to the right of negative 1. Or negative 1 itself, the way we're going to indicate that is by drawing it a filled in dot. So what we've done here is we marked all the points to the right of negative 1 and drew a filled in dot to show that 5 is included. That empty circle we sometimes call an open dot. The filled in circle we sometimes call a closed dot. How do we remember all of this stuff? How do we remember what direction to go? How do we remember whether to fill the dot in? If we write the inequality with the variable on the left, the direction the inequality points is the direction that we should mark. So what do I mean by that? If we have x is less than a number or x is less than or equal to the number, we should mark to the left of that number. If we have x is greater than a number or x is greater than or equal to a number, we want to mark to the right of the number. How do we remember whether to have an open dot, empty, or a closed dot, filled in. Well, remember what we are meaning to indicate by drawing the dot empty or filled in. The empty circle looks like what it is. It means that the number is not there, it's not included. The filled in circle means that the number is included. So that means if I have x is less than a number or x is greater than a number, 
I'll have an empty circle at the number because x is not allowed to represent the number itself. On the other hand, if I have x is less than or equal to a number, or x is greater than or equal to a number, then I have a filled in circle at the number, because x is allowed to equal the number itself. 